Welcome back. Stanley mugs, Uggs, denim jackets, and RV travel. Just a few of the things trending these days, and you're in luck. A paradise of inspiration has popped up just down the street from us. It's nine acres of road trip dreaming, and it has taken over the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. In fact, a piece of the action has rolled right up to the PTL studios, and that is where Heather is right now. Heather, this is your dream. You got to show us around this beauty behind you. It it really is, and I am geeking out a little bit. If you've never been to the Pittsburgh RV show, you have to check it out. It is nine days long. There's plenty of time to get out there and see everything that there is to offer. And I have Randy Giancola here, the show promoter, to tell us a little bit more about the longest running RV show in the country. Yep, we'll have something for every budget at the show from small pop-ups to big diesel pushers. Uh, industry experts will be there, uh, dealer sales representatives. The dealers are telling me these are the lowest prices of the year with the highest factory incentives. That's wonderful. And we're going to go inside and uh, sure. get a little tour of this one. But tell us a little bit more about what people will find because there really is something for everybody, like you mentioned, sure. for every budget. Yep. You're going to have this year, new to the show, are going to be boats and e-bikes, scooters and golf carts. Uh, Butler RV, one of our dealers, is going to set up an accessory store. So you'll be able to look at accessories, generators, uh, electrical adapters, brushes to wash. So we're gonna have an accessory store this year that, that's gonna be new. Uh, we'll have some furniture people there to maybe you wanna upgrade the bed. Uh, there is something for everybody to see. And this is what I love. My kids, uh, when they went with us last year, they felt like it was a playhouse after playhouse after playhouse. Sure. And it was really fun to kind of imagine what our family would look like out on the road. So tell us about this model in particular that we're in. It's a 23 foot Sunseeker uh, Class C motorhome provided by Myers RV. So you have the large dinette here that can sleep four. You have a double bed in the back, refrigerator, complete bathroom, uh, cab over sleeping. It's powered by a uh, Ford engine. This is incredible. So let me ask you, because these there are seatbelts here. Sure. So literally, we could be driving, heading to Colorado if we want to, and the kids can be sitting here on their devices or playing cards or playing a game. I mean, the whole thing is an adventure. It is. So, you know, of course, the driver and the passenger seat have seatbelts, but there's four seatbelts here at the dinette. So uh, the units sleep six, so you'll have six seatbelts. And... You know, wherever the open road will take you, you can go in this Sunseeker. And can we talk about the appliances? Oh, my goodness. Sure. Like, this isn't like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like the RVs of the past, they've, they've really upgraded. Yeah, microwave oven, uh, wireless charging, double door refrigerator, uh, freezer, has hot water, has a furnace has Wi-Fi extenders. The faucet is nicer than the one that I have in yeah, my house. I mean, a, I'm telling you, it's, it's, all, it's all luxury. And you know, the other thing too that I wanted to talk to you about is in the pandemic, we started to see this real big push. People were renovating RVs and, and it seemed like there was this renewed love of traveling and getting out there, making this your mobile office. Right, because people were working remotely. They had to quarantine. They were homeschooling their children. So you could work. Nobody knew whether you were to Grand Canyon or whether you That's were right. in Elwood City. That's right. And this is the longest running RV show. Nine how, straight days. How has it changed over the years? Well, it has changed by the technology in the units. They're building them lighter. They said, you know, the, the RV industry is kind of like a little bit of a chameleon. As the tow vehicles get smaller, you'll have smaller RVs. Then when gas prices aren't as much of an issue, you'll get bigger RVs. They're I just, just want to be a little nebby in here. Yeah, there's storage. <laughs> and of course, they're kind of hard to get open a little bit because we don't want them popping open while you're well, driving. While you're driving. Down so yeah, there's exactly. a little bit of tension on there yes. too. All right, we want to remind everyone at home, the RV show, January 6th through the 14th at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. And Randy, you said you're from Florida. How are you liking this weather? It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's really Can't wait nice. to put my jacket back that's on. Okay. That's right. Hey, Selena, if you've never been, head out there. You will be inspired to hit the road too. I'm telling you, we have our PTL car, Katie, I really think that we need to upgrade and get a PTL RV. <laughs> Heather, you're sp speaking to the choir. I totally agree. I think we need an RV. We need a bus. We need all kinds of things, maybe an airplane. But it's really cool. I've been there previous years. Nine acres. There are just so many RVs to look at. And again, it starts tomorrow. It'll run through next Sunday, January 14th. So make sure you check it out. And it's going to be cold this weekend, so it'll be cozy indoors there at the convention center.